welcome back to our channel and it's really good um, to have you back today's vlog is touring around the homeschooling it's our third year and today we'll have unboxing today and you're gonna meet my little minions <laughs> okay all right they're not my little minions meet my best friends Hello, hello. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. I'm Smile. I'm Anna. I'm Marcia. Okay, so she'll be joining us for the homeschooling year, and this is our third, third year. year. Okay, so we'll be unboxing all those items that we bought. And to start off with, we have got ourselves a little peg board, and all our stationaries are in there. So, do you want to do you want to tell us what's in there? Uh, Here's my sister book, that's my book, and here's like the rulers and some pencils, and here's my little sister's pencils, and, and how we rub on the top. Here's the fake plant, and then here is a rubber. Artificial plant. Artificial plant, and here is where we keep the pens, the pencils, and yeah. yeah. And you can purchase this pet book, um, board from IKEA, um, it's quite really um good source of um, stationery and yeah this is our first time purchasing it and we're happy with the result so um so now we're gonna do some unboxing Yay. of the items Yay. that we got from why are you guys clapping because it's <laughs> oh my god they're so excited anyways anyhow let's see what we've got okay. in store for you make her do some little bit of chores she'll, she's gonna take all the highlighters and i want her to put it up there do you want to do that come on no thanks what do you mean no thank you come on okay i'm gonna do the purple okay i'm gonna do the purple one and the purple all right can you put it up there like there okay on those little containers Take the other ones. Take the whole thing? Yes, and then put it one by one. By one. By one. By one, one. Let's head along. It was this white. This white. 
Yeah, all of them, Mama. All of them. you have left? How much else? I have three. three. Okay. Well to the um, their room where they've got a stack of collection of books um, we've got quite a few books they love the diary of the wimpy kid and then I've got my eldest daughter reading the Lords of the Rings and attack Titan and yeah she's got some few collection and I also homeschool her and this is the books that she goes through so I'm just preparing her for GCSEs. She's gonna be in year 10 now. Um, yeah, time has just flied away. And yeah, those are the selection of books that they have. And then um, we're still gonna be using the uh, old um, pencil cases. They're still in a good condition. So we'll be using those things as well. Yep, and then I had to take the containers of the books that they had last year and then gave it a rinse and this is the uh, um, Their books will be placed in here and they'll know what to do week by week um, Yeah, we had it for um, I believe a year now um, Yeah, and then we've got a collection of um, um, Quran Which is the ones that they read so Islamically this is what we, we do. And then also we do activities. This is what they had for their judo competition, silver, and they've got another one there, bronze as well. Um, I know you've seen a lot of collections that we did and um, we bought from the Amazon I just wanted to break down and to show you that obviously what we've used last year and we, what we've add in this year as well so to have a look I bought a selection of um, CGP books 
um, for all year round hopefully so I'm just gonna go through so this is the 10 minutes weekly workout and um, this is the handwriting um, this is the comprehension and then we've got the mats and then we've got the grammar punctuation spelling and then oh that's for my son anyways so it's a selection of um how many books one two three four five so five books it comes with the whole packs the whole pack come together and um, the only thing that i haven't used last year was the 10 10 minutes weekly workout i find this really useful then it's basically the recap of what they learned and you give them a time limit where they work out um the things that they need to work out on that day and um, so um if we have a look inside the book one thing about um the content that i really like about the cgp books it tells you what they need to learn each term so it has um termly it's been based on termly so autumn spring winter and summer which is really handy for all homeschoolers and this also they use this um, kind of books in schools as well so this one we haven't used it so this is the, the this is the first time that you will be using this um however we've used the grammar and punctuation and i find it really helpful um to to the kids also and the reason being is the layout if i just open the layout it gives them a clear instruction on what to do it, it breaks down first and as you can see and then from there they'll do their own work hard so it's a straightforward books and that's why i love cgb books to be honest and it's it is it's the best books for um children and the reason being is um they can work independently on their own um however if they get stuck or the, yeah, another thing is it has a teacher guide also so i find this quite re res resourceful so yeah so okay so um another thing that i've added to the list this year that we haven't used last year was the um question cards and this is a bonus for me and especially it's something that they can do on their own they can play and play is really important for kids to be honest and that's how they learn in, and obviously and the more fun it is the more they enjoy learning so remember that so if i show you one of the cards the layout is superb so this is how it looks inside so it has questions um a noun so and then from there this is the answers so straightforward it tells them what they need to answer what questions and things like that and then from there um it, they can play both of them which is ideal cards yeah and i love them so this is the noun this this they've got like a bundles of it so it's, it says questions on the front and then answers on the on the back and plenty of help helpful tips yeah it's really as you can see they have all over like how many cards i can't even count like it's i think probably a hundred of it or something like that i'm not too sure but this is what they can do on their spare time and they're learning as well so that's a bonus yep okay so the next thing that i've added this year for our homeschooling like i said it was the question cards the 10 minutes weekly um weekly mats revision and then we've got the key stage two again question cards for mats so this can be used for year six and year fives okay let me just open it the packaging oh my god it's like it takes so long to open things got there at the end okay so now this is for maths the other one that i showed you was english okay so this one is it says place value so each each card has its own category 
so this one's place value and then they ask you questions look at the layer out of the questions as well it's really ideal it's really colorful and bright and things like that also if you're a visual learner this is a great resources so next and then we've got the answers at the end and this is one one thing that they're gonna enjoy and I, I will myself will enjoy the process of this learning as well so yeah okay again they have a lot of cards to go through so whatever day and what they need to learn it's just you need to have a time schedule and things like that so yeah this is another good resources investment as well so yeah okay i will link everything that we purchased on the description this again this is for geography key stage two again it's the cgp books i just love cgp books because of the layout and the content that it has inside the book and let me show you so look at how visualized is the book i love things that have colors and things yeah it's a great great layout okay so this is labels so i'm going to be using this for the a4 pocket size in order for me to label the items so this is another thing that is very handy to use um, then we've got exercise books <laughs> 10 of them and then like i said it's really ideal so uh -huh. last but not least we've got the write like a ninja this has so many reviews and it was the best seller in the amazon so when i went through it it says it will describe places character emotion and action in different different it's, it's basically like a thesaurus but obviously it has more details look at the words so the child would not rewrite a story just using one word it has different words for them to use so like i said it's a good resources for writing so you can purchase all these books in amazon again um yeah and it was really good so like i said i got my myself a year six bundle and then year five bundle as well so buy from us i hope you enjoyed our vlog today it was just touring around where we'll be doing our learning what station we'll be using how we set up our um homeschooling area and also the books and the resources that we will be using hopefully you enjoyed this vlog gives it a give it a thumbs up and Bye -bye. Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.